you know, things happen to us in our life. I remember going back, I was seven years old and I was a really good piano player and I'd won a competition and I, was, I loved playing the piano but I was having a lesson one day from a nun and I played a wrong note and she just erupted into a rage and got her cross and started whacking me over the knuckles. My knuckles were so red she broke the skin and I ran home I was crying and upset and I never played the piano again. So it's amazing how we make our choices and decisions and how we allow somebody like that I was just an innocent seven-year-old child. We allow somebody to affect our whole lives. Because you're seven, your emotions are mixed up, and she was telling me, I'm bad, I'm wrong, I'm stupid, I'll never get it right. It was her judgment on herself. It really wasn't about me, but as a seven-year-old, you take it on like that's the gospel truth. She's a nun for goodness sake. She's representing God and the church. <laughs> so I thought I was bad, I was stupid, I was wrong and full of shame. I must be bad or, or she wouldn't have attacked me like that. So we carry this thing and it goes into our unconscious mind because as a seven-year-old you can't really deal with that. And that becomes a life theme. And so we become very wary and put, we cover up any mistakes that we make because we don't want to feel that shame again. And it's really, if somebody hurts us, what I know now is, it's not about us, the other person, that's what they're feeling about themselves. And she was very repressed, you know, trying to be a pious nun while underneath were all these raging emotions, which, like a pressure cooker, they just came up and she spewed them all over me. But understanding that now, I don't carry that anymore. I know it's not true. God loves everybody. Everybody, no matter what they've done, loves her too. I do too now. I've forgiven her and let it go. Um, God loves everybody. There's no judgment. Jesus came on earth and preached only love, not what she did. So these confusions it's a good idea to resolve them for yourself and your own peace of mind and not carry somebody else's anger around and judgment, you know, because I'd taken that on as a judgment against myself. How awful is that? I'm not playing the piano ever again. I mean, gosh, <laughs> what a big talent the world has missed. <laughs> um, so things like that. Um, affect us but once you clear them and it's amazing when you make an intent to clear these these pictures that one had got stuck you know like I was a bad person so I took out the emotional charge on that let it go forgave her forgave myself for being stuck in that and well perhaps I'll play the piano again who knows uh, but they can all be resolved, and that decision was made out of a seven-year-old child who didn't know any better. You know, we are all innocent and until we take on these things. So, you know, any you can resolve it, let it go, and live in peace and play the piano again, or whatever you might like to do. 
I mean, I was a great artist as well, and I went home and my mother looked at it and tore it up and put it in garbage. So guess who never painted again for quite some time? But I do now. I love it. So remember, it's about the other person, it's not about you. Don't take it personally and don't take it on inside of you. You're not bad. You're not wrong. I don't care what anyone's done. We're all child of God. We're all innocent, loving and beautiful. So stick to that. <laughs>